Hello there. This is the family doctor. This is Dr. Ag... Oh, oh, hello, honey. Uh, uh, yes, Lou. Yes, I remember. Yes, I've got it right here on my desk. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, here it is. Yes, I know, honey. I'm to take this bottle of pickled peaches to the Bensons. Yes. Uh, huh? Oh, oh, the Maynards. Uh, yeah, I see. Yes, honey, yes. I seem to recollect you're saying something about the Maynards now. Yes. All right, all right. Yes, I, I'll take it right over when I leave here. Uh, yeah, all, all right, Lou, goodbye. Hmm? No, no, I, I won't forget. I'll hold it in my lap all the way home. I mean, all the way to the Maynards. Oh, all right. All right, honey. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Dear me, she even phoned Mrs. Maynard to tell her I was bringing the pickled peaches over. Sort of put me on the spot, as they say in the movies. <laughs> Gush to Friday. Great little woman. Just what I need. Jimmy, the drugstore's empty. Nobody's here. Oh, they're probably in the back. I hope Johnny's here instead of Pete. Yeah, boy, I hope so, too. Call out, why don't you? Okay. Hey, Johnny! He ain't here. Oh, heck, it's Pete. It's us, Mr. May, Billy and Jimmy Maynard. Oh, hello, boys. How's your father, the Reverend? Fine. Fine. And your mother? Fine. Fine. That's good. Well, what can I do for you boys? We want a pint of vanilla ice cream and a pint of strawberry. Ooh, have them company to your house, are you? Uh, Ma says Dr. Adams is coming over for, to visit this afternoon, and, and she's got to have some ice cream. All right, boys, you can't say that Pete May don't take care of his customers. That's why there's only one drugstore in Cedarton. All the rest of them are scared to put up the money. Oh, hey, dummy, ask him. Oh, wait a sec, will you? you you got to take your time in things like this. Sir, and a pint of strawberry. Coming up. Yes, sir. There you are, boys. How much is it, Mr. May? Oh, 45 cents, I reckon. It isn't 50, is it? Well, no. I said uh, 45, didn't I? Okay, here's four bits. And we want the best five-cent cigar you got. Uh, cigar? Yeah, yeah, uh, you see, uh, uh, Dad, he wants it. The Reverend... Uh, Reverend Maynard wants us a cigar? Yeah, he wants it. What for? To smoke, of course. Well, uh, you, you, you mean to say the Reverend Maynard's taken up smoking? Oh, sure. He's been doing it for a long time. Only, uh, only you don't want anybody to know about it. Well, I'll be plowed for a fur. You don't tell. Hmm. Well, uh, what kind does he smoke, boys? I, uh, I don't know exactly. Just, just the best five-cent cigar I got, I guess. Uh, one that ain't too... Uh, to, uh, uh, one that ain't too strong, he means. Yeah. Well, something tells me this ain't right, selling tobacco to miners. 
But seeing as how you're the Reverend Maynard's boys, I'll give it to you. Here you are. Gee. Thanks, Mr. May. Well, so long. Be seeing you. Well, what do you know? The Reverend smoking. And a nickel cigar at that. I never would have thought it. Glad to see you. Oh, all right. Welcome on in. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mina's in his study. I'll call him. Hmm? Glenn. Oh, Glenn. Yes, Virginia. Dr. Adams is here. Won't you come in? He's preparing his sermon. Oh, well, uh, maybe you shouldn't have bothered him. Oh, that's perfectly all right. He's almost finished. Well, Grant. Well, I'm glad to see you. Hello, Glenn. Oh, won't you come into the parlor? Oh, thank you. Well, Grant, you caught me at work. <laughs> Yeah, you did. Most people think a preacher only works on Sunday, but let me tell you, it's a a seven-day-a-week job, just like yours. (laughs) You doctors can't put anything over on us preachers. (laughs) (laughs) Now, sit down, please. Well, Doctor, how is Mrs. Adams? I didn't see her at church last Sunday. No, she drove out into the country with me. Oh. Yeah, Lou used to be a registered nurse, you know, and she helps me out whenever I... I, My My goodness, Virginia, what is that? (laughs) You ought to know by this time, Glenn. It's just the twins arriving. Oh, I hope you'll excuse them, Doctor. Oh, of <laughs> course. Here's your ice cream. Oh, all right now, all right. Oh, why don't you say how do you do to Doctor Adams, boys? Uh, how, how do you do, do Doctor Adams? Adams. Well, you go out and play until I call you for supper. But uh, stay around here where you can hear me. Okay, Ma. Come on, Jimmy. You still got it? Of course I got it. What do you think? I ate it. Uh, it isn't broke, is it? No, it's okay. Come on, and we'll go to the shed. Uh, hey, uh, uh, you got a match? Gee, no, I almost forgot. Hey, get one from the kitchen. No, no, get a handful. Uh, okay. Okay, I got him. Come on, then. Let's see it. Gee, uh, it looks kind of big, don't it? Taint too big for the two of us. Well, maybe not. Now, now, let me see. How does Judge Windsor bite off the end? Like this, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Uh, <coughs> Golly, that tastes funny. Nothing like a cigar smells. Uh, do you want me to light it for you? Oh, no, no, you go first. I'll let you have it first this time, Jimmy. Mm, well, okay, then. Like a Mac. <coughs> Gee, uh, uh, that's fine. How does it smell, Billy? Smell? Here, let me have it. Uh, (coughs) Ain't that funny? Uh, How it makes you cough, I mean. (coughs) Judge Windsor don't cough when he smokes. Let me try it again. Maybe I won't cough this time. No, see? I didn't cough. Okay. Here, I'll try it. It tastes kind of like our hay mouse smelt when it burned down last summer, don't it? Yeah, kind of. Here, here, here you can have it again uh, for a while. Oh, no, you go ahead. I'll wait. Well, okay. <coughs> Gee, Billy, you, you look kind of funny. Do I? Here, you take it. Okay. Uh, how how do you feel? Mm, well, I feel all right, I, I guess. Uh, say, Billy, let's throw this away, huh? I'm kind of tired of it, aren't you? Yeah, kind of. Maybe we ought to bury it. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll dig a hole. Throw her in. Now, 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 you cover it up. Hey, uh, Jimmy. Yeah? What do you say we... We go up to our room and go to bed, huh? Okay. 
Uh, I think that's a swell idea. Come on. Gee, uh, are you as dizzy as I am? Dizzy? Uh, of course I ain't dizzy. <coughs> Gee, Billy, you, you fell flat on your face. <laughs> I'm awfully glad you dropped over. Come again, won't you? And drop over with Mrs. Adams some evening. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Yes, Grant. I hope that you, uh... Glenn. Uh-huh. Come on. Upstairs. Well, 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 what is it, Mother? What's the well, What in the world has happened, I wonder? Well. Hmm. Um, uh, Mother. Yes, Glenn? I, uh... I think this is a case for Dr. Adams and myself. You'd better wait in the parlor. Well, just as you say, Glenn. Well, uh, Doctor? Mm-hmm. Hello, boys. Oh, Doctor. You don't feel sick, do you? No. Uh-huh. Let me feel your pulses, uh, both at the same time. Yes. Uh, yes. As I know these symptoms, you know, Reverend, the best cure for this is a good dose of food. Food? Yes. I'd suggest some oyster stew. Oh, no. Followed quickly by scrambled eggs. Oh, I don't know. And then ending up with nice dessert of waffles and syrup. Oh, ah. gosh. Well, I'll get that for them right away, Doctor. And I think I'd better hurry down to May's drugstore and get a bottle of castor oil. Oh, yes, yes, Doctor. Yes, uh, I'll go right with you. Oh, Doctor. <laughs> well, come on, Grant. Let's break the news to their mother. Oh, what is it, Ben? It isn't serious, is it, Dr. Adams? Well, uh, I'm afraid it is, Mrs. Maynard. You must uh, prepare yourself, Mother. Oh, Doctor, what is it? Cigaritis. Cigar. Cigar, I... Cigar? Oh, no. My baby. Mother? Oh, you may as well know it now as any time. The twins are growing up. They're 13 years old. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> 